Hi, Faye Bryant here with another daily devotion. I do hope as you're watching that you will drop some comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Now, let's look at Colossians 3, 23 and 24. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will give you an inheritance as your reward and that the master you are serving is Christ. Let's talk. What are you doing today? Does it feel like drudgery? Do you wish you were somewhere else? Do you wish you were someone else? I get that. God says we're to work willingly at whatever we do, as though he is the boss, not the person who signs our paycheck. Thinking that way makes the job different. When you consider your job as one supplied by the Lord with him as the employer, the rumors, the co-worker drama, menial tasks, overwhelming work, all seem doable. It's something God has called you to. What about those jobs at home? Rocking those babies, putting out the trash, washing the dishes, preparing meals. Those two, all supplied by God with him as the employer. We often forget this and begin to think of our tasks as mundane and horrible. We think we're above doing them or that we're tired of doing them for too little or no recognition or pay. Sometimes that's how it feels. However, our feelings don't always tell us the truth. The truth is, believer, God is rewarding us beyond anything we can conceive here and now. There is all the recognition we could wish for. That is the best pay imaginable, eternity with him. As you handle the tasks set before you today, take a moment to think about why you have that task or job. Why is it yours? How did you end up here? Recognize the one you are doing these tasks for and do them with intentional joy and excellence. The rewards are way out of this world. Coffee, Bible, journal. I get that sometimes the jobs we have to do are less than pleasurable. I get it. You know, not everything is, is roses. But those things that we are called to do, we can find joy in them, recognizing that God is the one that has placed them before us. God provides everything. So those dishes we have to wash, that meal we have to prepare, we can be excited that God has provided those things for us. Oh, you worked the job and made the money? Who gave you the job? Just saying. God has given us so much and we often look at it as drudgery or yuck. And I think that we need to start looking at our jobs and the tasks we have to do as things we get to do things that we have opportunity with and that in that we will recognize that we are doing all these things for Christ instead of doing them for somebody else. How cool is that? It's amazing to think that God is our employer. But when we do, when we think that changing that diaper is doing something for Christ, not just that little baby, won't we think of it as something more? If we think about taking out the garbage as doing something for Christ, won't we be a little uh, more jubilant about doing it? When we think about going to that job one more time, working for those people amongst those people that drive us nuts, but we recognize that we're doing it for Christ, that can put a whole different spin in our mind and we start thinking, well, who am I supposed to be touching today? Who am I supposed to be helping today? Who is Christ reaching through me today? I think that puts a right spin on it. What about you? Hmm. Something to think about. Okay, let's go out and have a fantastic day. Let's recognize that God is our employer and not us and not the guy that signs our paycheck. Okay? 
listen, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and be sure and um, hit the notification bell so you'll know when these things go live or are uploaded. Have a fabulous day. Bye.